Which attitudes or mental constructs are most detrimental to developing emotional agility? So this is a great question. There are a couple. Uh, the first thing that I will say to answer that question is that one of the things that's really pervasive in our culture right now is this positive vibes only, good vibes only, um, just be positive. And if there's a pervasive way of being that is antithetical to emotional health, it's actually this idea of just be positive. And so people who are listening might say, well, like, why, what's wrong with being positive? And I just want to be clear, you know, I'm not anti-positivity. But if we think about what happens uh, with our emotions, our emotions have evolved to help us to adapt and to thrive and to be healthy. They exist for a reason. They actually have a function. Charles Darwin described this as uh, the function of emotions being the capacity to hear what our emotions are telling us so that we can be more in sync with ourselves, but also to hear the emotions of other people and so we can respond to them effectively. So when we push aside difficult emotions, those emotions might be fear or loneliness or grief in the service of forced positivity, what we're actually doing is we're cutting off our capacity to learn from these emotions. And one thing that I think is really important here is, of course, societally, we have this idea that there's good emotions and bad emotions, and the so-called good emotions are the being happy all the time. And really, emotional agility uh, doesn't make that distinction. Emotional agility is this idea that all of our emotions are really important and we can learn from them. And so a critical aspect of this, because I know a lot of people who are listening also work in organizations. In organizations, we don't often say, well, just be positive, but we do often say things like, you either on the bus or off the bus, you know, you either with us or you against us. And what you're basically doing in that context is you forcing a way of being in that organization, which basically says to people, when you're struggling with something, when you disagree with something, we, we don't really want to hear it. And so what's really fascinating is a lot of organizations are trying to be agile and innovative and collaborative. And yet you only get collaboration when you are open to potential conflict. You only get innovation when you are open to the fact that an idea might not work. And so when organizations push this agenda whatever it is framed as of being positive only, what they actually do is they lower people's psychological safety and the capacity for the organization to really thrive because what they are doing is they are stopping people from being able to bring who they are to the workplace. So I think the pervasive idea, you know, to answer the question that I think actually undermines emotional agility is that there's good and bad emotions and that we've actually got to have these good emotions all the time, this positivity, that I think is one of the, the core ideas. Um, and for a range of reasons that we can get into, this orientation actually doesn't work. It actually leads to high levels of depression and anxiety and lowers people's capacity to be goal-oriented and to thrive in the world.